can I will kill him. I will kill him myself. I will kill him myself. I will kill him. Eh? You want to become the stubborn fly that follows the cops into the grave? Or do we need to bring in a tank crier before you understand that right? going about with that boy will bring nothing but destruction to you? Eh? Papa, but you're the cause of all this. If you had allowed me to take her to the city to continue her education, you would have been going around the whole village bringing shame to us by following that drifter called Okoronta. My son, you can't come. You can't blame me. You can't blame me. I had thought that by staying back in the village with me, she would feel the vacuum in my heart created by the death of a mother. Eh? We have to deal with this guy squarely before she can understand that going about with Okoronta will bring nothing but destruction on you. Papa, that's, that's not good enough. I mean, what haven't we done? What have we not applied? Anyway, just to inform you that as soon as she finishes this high exam, I'm taking her to the city with me. And that is what we need to do. Hey, stop here. Ah, it's what old. is it? Stop here. What is it? Shut up. You need to get my letter. Come, come here. Ah! Oh, I'm talking to you and you're walking out. Change it. Huh? Change it now. Change now. Leave me alone. It's not my first to be your girlfriend, though. Shut up, you stubborn girl. Every time you're fleeing on top of the whole world, do you think you are the most beautiful girl in our school? Hey, hey. Change it now. Hey, who do I have? You must leave me. Oh. I have a boyfriend. Don't leave me. Both in my foot. Who is even that wretched Okoronto of yours? I will slap you. Change now. Why are you wasting time? Let's teach her a lesson. What did she do to you people? What did she do to you people? It's none of your business, my friend. Come on, get out! Listen, it's my business. I want to know what she has done. Mr. Man, I advise you to stay clear. You woman rapper. Hey! Udoka! You dare insult me without your dirty mouth! Shut up, Mr. Man! Eh? We will insult you and insult you again. I what do you mean? Eh? What do you think I can do? You, junior students! No. Me! You're a Me! Yes! Get me! 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 What is it? What? Udoka! Hey! Oh! You killed him! You killed him! You killed him! What happened? Udoka! 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 What? I never brought you up to be a troublemaker. Let alone a murderer. Now see what she has cost us. Mama, I fought for the love I feel for Olama. I couldn't stand and watch somebody harm her. Stupid love. Such love can only bring anguish and sorrow. Anyway, what we should be concerned with is how to face the Waziri case at the meeting summoned by the elders over the death of their son, Udok. Hmm? Okay? It's so painful. I did not kill Udoka intentionally, Mama. I didn't kill him intentionally. No, 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 I can't take it. I can't, there's no way I'm going to take this. No, 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 no. Uwazirike, calm down. It has happened. The best we could do now is to find a way to resolve this issue. There is no resolution on this matter. Do you people realize that Udoka was my only son? Yes. Huh. Oh God. I must ensure that Felicia and her son pays for this. Patient Ubaisiruke, try and be a man. 
I think what we have to do is to accept this as a threat and look for a way out. Wazrike, take it easy. We all understand your plight. And yet, you can see that what they are saying is right. <coughs> so take it easy. <coughs> Wazrike, what do you want to do on this matter? We have all seen how Felicia and her son have been apologizing on this matter. What is your opinion? I don't have to say anything. But I want to assure you that Okoronta can never go free for murdering my son. In fact, I'm leaving this meeting. Let me have it my own way. Oh, was to come back? I feel guilty making you go through this hell. I could feel your fears and the tears in your heart. I can feel your agony. I have to go and tell them the truth. I have to tell them I'm guilty of the crime. You don't have to lie just to save me. You're endangering your life. Please, do not tell anyone the truth. Let it be between you and I. Anyway, nobody will believe you. Chejin already told the Yadas Council that I'm responsible. You did it to save my life. Let it be my own price. The price is too much for anyone to pay. Okoronta, it's my mistake. Let me bear the cross. It's not your fault. Don't blame it on ourselves, not the love we share. Let's just say it's fate. My only fear is that the Waziri case do not want this matter to be settled amicably. I wonder why they want me to go through hell over this matter. Well, no matter how stormy the end may be, let this be my own. Let it just be a persecution of love. It's my persecution. Loving you. You have a golden heart, my love. I want to assure you that no matter what comes out of this, I will be with you all the way till the end. I must believe in now. My mother went to the Waziri case to solicit on my behalf. Let me go and see what fate has for me. I know it's not successful. It's alright, Mama. I've made up my mind to carry my cross. It's my fate, I have to bear it. I just want to employ you to, to cheer up, be of good courage. 
Let me pay for the consequences of my offense. Chiaro, Chiaro, they are threatening you. They are threatening to take you to the police. Even to court, what are we going to do? What is going to be my fate? What will I do without you? What am I going to do? Mama, at least for now, the police are not here. Huh? I'm still with you, I'm safe. So calm down. Come. Which bridge? Oh, which bridge? Which bridge? My grace. Which bridge? My grace is my son. Mama. What am I? Officer, this is the murderer. Mr. Wazurike. No, no, arrest. Mr. Wazurike, can't we settle this thing amicably? Your hand. None of the amount of tears can make me consent to a man who murders my son. This is just the beginning of your plight. Please take me and leave my son. Officer, let's go. Now, move. Take him and leave me. I say move. Officer, let him take me. Move. Please, 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 please. Move. Leave my son. Come on, move. Leave my son for me. Take me and leave my son. Take me and leave my son. Please, Papa. Brother. Look into my eyes and see the bitterness in my heart. Papa, please do something. And get him out of police custody, please. Tears of affliction can affect the heart and weaken the soul. But yours is tears of illusion. I wish they can make me change my mind, but no. He brought this things on himself and has to take the consequences. Papa, I brought it upon him, your daughter. I'm the cause of what he's going through now, Papa. Please do something, please. Olam, there is something you need to understand. And that is the fact that you did not invite him to come and fight for you. Moreover, the case that he is standing in for is a case of murder. There is absolutely nothing anyone can do to stop the full weight of the law. So my advice for you is to put him behind you and move ahead. Please. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Papa. Now I know the kind of brother and father I have. Thank you for showing so much wickedness to a man that saved your own daughter from being raped by some stupid fools. Thank you. Come back here. Ola, come back here. This is my judgment following the cross examination of the prosecuting and defense counsels. I hereby find the accused person, Mr. Kuronta Okreke, guilty as charged, and he is hereby sentenced to two years' imprisonment with hard labor. Meet Mr. Dama on a scheduled uh, appointment. So try and stay at home while I go and come back. Papa? Yes. I have good news for you. Huh? Ah. Yes, Papa. Good news. What is the good news? Uh, Okoronta has been sentenced to prison. I hope you're happy now. Why you talk to me like this? Papa, can you see how troubled your heart is just to hear the truth? You don't even have a single affection for the man who is paying a huge sacrifice for your daughter. Olam, 
never again will this matter be discussed under this roof. I hope my message is clear. Mama, please. Mama, I know you're angry with me over a coronavirus condition. If I wear your shoes, I'll do the same. I just wish all this never happened. My heart is full of regrets. And it will keep haunting me until the day he is released. I am guilty of what he's going through now. I'm also guilty of the tears on your face. Please, Mama, find it in your heart to forgive me. I beg for your forgiveness. There's absolutely nothing anybody can do about it. Nothing. I'm just praying to God to give him the strength to, to, to carry on. To, to complete his jail terms. That's all. Please stop crying. Everything will be all right. Thank you for forgiving me. Please eat your food. Feel the pain in your heart, even though I'm not there. I can see the tears in your eyes, but it's so painful I'm not there to wipe them away from your face. I wish I have more to offer, but sad enough, all I've got is nothing but these little sad words. I hope they'll comfort you and give you the courage to carry on. I miss you. Every time I breathe, my heart longs for you. My hands long to hold you. I want you to know I'll always love you. 
and I hope the anxiety besieging you won't make you forget the love we shared. I hope the good times we had together will be a source of strength to you. I have a thousand words to say to you, but these few words are all I can offer for now. No matter the situation, always know I love you and will always be yours. From Olama, your jewel. You are the jewel of my heart. Jewel of my heart. You are the apple of my eye. Do you like the dress? I like it. It's beautiful. Well, I'm, I'm happy you find it appealing. You know, what amazes me is your sense of taste. It's nice. The beauty is breathtaking. So also is your virtue. You deserve the best. But not to the detriment of your welfare. How do you mean? You can't continue to give me gifts like this when you and your mother barely have enough to live on. The, the money you use in buying gifts for me, you can use it to contribute to your welfare. Yeah, I, I understand you perfectly well. But no gift is too much a sacrifice for you, my jewel. I mean, you deserve the best. I and my mother have a little to take us for the while. You may have enough, but you and I know you don't have any meaningful job now, so I don't expect gifts from you. You have a wonderful heart, my jewel. Oh, I want to go now. You mean more to me than the air I breathe. You are my heart, my love, my life. You are the jewel of my heart. You are the end. Hola. Good day, Simon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hey, it's good to see that you're doing great, eh? Thank you. How about your parents? It's fine. Okay, my regards to them, eh? Bye-bye. Okay. Um, Simon. I was wondering, I was wondering if you've seen Okoronta lately because it's been quite some time I saw him. Yeah, I saw him uh, last week, yes, last week. How is he faring? My dear, we just thank God that his jet time will soon be over. I can't wait to see him. Same here. Huh? My regards to your family, eh? Okay. Good day for me, eh? Thank you very much. Bye-bye, eh? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. I don't know how much I missed you. Hey. I wonder how you were able to cope with my absence. Mm. It's unimaginable, my dear. But that is in the past now. The beautiful thing is that I'm back to take care of you. Mm. Mm? Ah. I missed you. No, I won't. Thank you, Mama. Mama. Your food is ready. It's sad. Mama, I'll eat, but uh, first I need to rush to somewhere very important. Huh. Important? Yes. Eh? But you just got back now. What could be more important than eating my food? The food I cooked for you and resting. Eh? We have a lot to discuss now. Mama, we have a lot to Mama, talk about. I understand all that. But when I say something is important, 
It's important. Please. What could be more important for heaven's sake than eating your, your mother's food? You won't understand, Mama. But I assure you I'll be back soon, Mama. I'll be back soon. Be careful. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, my son, you're welcome. Thank you, Nay. You see, we all try to help out in your case. But all the efforts we made came to nothing. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, the good thing is that I'm out now, and it's all over. I want to thank you once again, sir, for your efforts. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <sighs> I should be leaving now, sir. You know, I just got back and my mother will. She will respect me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Papa, let me see you more. The thought of you was my source of strength all through my incarceration. And that was why I had to run to see you as, as soon as I came out. Uh, I feel alive again. A feeling that was gone when you were not around. Now I'm back to you. Never to leave again. Now our feelings a passion can burn forever. I feel so... <sighs> at, at, at a point, I, I was scared your stay in prison was going to affect my your feelings for me. I think I... I think I... Mama, are you not tired working? You've been working all through the day. Good day, Ma. Good day. Whatever. You're welcome. Your mother. What about my mother? She's displeased. Oh, you mean that? Maybe she's not happy I left her to do all the house job alone and she's like, don't bother, don't let her worry you, okay? Come, let's go. There is no moral justification whatsoever for you to continue with that relationship. Mama, there yeah. is. There is, Mama. It's called love. I love all Lama from the depths of my heart. And nothing can change that. For heaven's sake, why have you decided to engulf your mind with this illusion you call love? Eh? Mama, I am old enough to understand my feelings. I can read my heart. And I want you to understand that what I feel for Olama is not illusion. I love her, Mama. I love her from the depths of my heart. And nothing can ever take that away. Mama, it's the strongest feeling I've ever had. It's, it's been there even before you conceived me, Mama. It's true love. Oh, my dear. I understand love. I understood it before you were born. But what I'm saying is that this path you are treading is a dangerous one. It will do you no good. It is not about you, nor is it about Olama. 
It is about the situation surrounding the, the relationship. These people hate you. They hate your breath for heaven's sake. The man hates you. Can't you understand that? Look, he will do anything, anything whatsoever to severe that relationship with that girl. He's dangerous. Mama. He's dangerous. Mama. That's all I'm saying. Yes, Mama. But remember you taught me that true love embraces trials. And the ability to conquer lies within the power of love. I'm ready to put that lesson into practice now. I'm ready to go all the way to fight this battle, no matter what it takes. See, and I know the power of love will see me through. See, see where the first battle led you? Is it when it leads you to your early grave? Is that when you are going to learn your lesson? Eh? I don't want to lose you. Your mother does not want to do you. I'm begging you. Mama, 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 please. I don't want Have to I lose. not always made you proud? I promise this time around, I'll make you proud, okay? Sorry, Mama. Just let me be. Oh, I was expecting your message as you promised. It's all right, Mama. Uh, I will endeavor to send them across as soon as I get to the city. Okay. Papa, where is Olama? She went to the stream to get some water. Papa. Papa, she has lied again. I am definitely sure she's with Okoronta right now. No, I don't think so. Papa, I think so. Whereas I was coming back the other day, I saw both of them holding hands at the Kemaket marketplace. And just some few days back, I saw him walk her into this compound. Papa, and all this has just been happening within this period that I've been around. Papa, I think that if we don't put a stop to that union now, that girl will bring nothing but shame to this family. I think so. They must be stopped. They must be stopped. Papa, that boy has not even learned a lesson. I think I need to teach him one myself. What nonsense. Um, control yourself. You're going on a long journey, so please get on. I will handle him. Okay. Yes. Who, don't you know who your father is? Okay. Well, if you insist, uh, oh, let me just present my phone. What is this? What is this? Okay. Nay, no, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, will, will you get out of this compound? Emeniki, what is it? I said, I said get out! What did I do? Okay, you're here. Hi! Can you imagine this? Can you imagine what we're just discussing now? Hi! Oh God, my son. You! You, Opagi! You! Don't worry. Get inside. Inside the house. You listen to me. If you don't desist from that reckless relationship with Okoronta, you will cease to be my daughter. Yes. Papa. I am willing to face whatever challenges ahead of me. I will follow my heart. Can't you see your current is my future partner? I see nothing but a future full of anguish and pains. If you don't listen to me. There are lots of things about life which you don't understand. You're only a child. If you listen to me, I will now tell you something which will shock you. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Good.
your mother was very, very sick. I spent everything I had to make sure that she survived because I loved her so much. When the illness became more serious, I had to transfer her to the community hospital where Kurantar's father was a very senior staff. In fact, a very senior staff of influence. The hospital wanted a huge amount of money far beyond marriage in order to carry out the operation. I pleaded and begged. I turned to Kurantar's father. Even as I carried your mother in my hands, I was begging in tears. I was shocked he turned his back on me. Eventually, your mother died without getting the operation that she needed for her survival. I couldn't understand it all. I was very, very, very angry. Kuruntas, father, my friend, I said, okay. We buried your mother. And I made up my mind to keep my family and his family apart. Before long, he died from mysterious means. Can you now see why I don't want to see Kuranta? Let the family stay apart. Whenever I know my mother, I get so sick. Papa, whatever happened was between you and Kuranta's father, not Kuranta and the mother. They didn't no. do anything to you. No, 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 no. It's not true. It's not true. The sins of the father visits the children and the children's children. Robert is a very old traditional belief. What, moreover, what has everything got to do with my love with Okoro? Everything. You wonder what have been alive today. You better wake up and face the fact for the good of all of us. This is our second visit on this particular mission. And yet we have not been opportuned to see the supposed apple of my son's eye. Eh? May I ask if we are welcomed to be your daughter's husband? Jose, I welcome you to my house. Thank you, Chief. Even a blind man could see the kind of joy and excitement in my heart over the purpose of your visit. Uh, unfortunately, my daughter has not been at home on those occasions to welcome you. But I want to assure you that by the next visit, she will be at home to welcome you. I apologize. Thank you, Chair. I hope you keep your promise with you. Of course, yes. I have heard you, my fathers. I have come to realize that in this life, nothing good comes easy. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be the patient dog that eats the fattest bone at last. <laughs> Thank you, my <Abba. laughs> Oh my God. I think I love your confidence. Yes. I think you, Papa. Mm -hmm. Papa, don't mind Edward. Edward has always been a confident and determined young man. Yes. And that is why whatever he sets his mind at getting, once he's convinced that it is right, he will always get it. Yes. And I'm sure that is the same principle he applies to business that makes me a very successful businessman. No, 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 we are not in the city now. No, but that's the truth. No, 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 let's keep business discussion aside. Okay, if you insist. Thank you, Brian. Both of you are funny. Thank you, Ah, each year. Gentlemen, I believe we have reached a compromise. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy to have Nze's family as our in-laws. Nze is a very good man. Yes. And so is Edward to the son. As a matter of fact, his financial assistant to me 
save my business from bankruptcy. Ah. Yes. Edward is more than a friend to me. He's like a brother. It's just that I would have wanted Olama to finish her university education before getting married. But anyway, I trust Edward will see her through her education. But what's bothering me is Olama's attitude to him. Olama doesn't seem to like the man a bit. Huh? Anyway, what do we expect? When the only thing she does is to roam around the whole village with that idiot called Okoronta. And the boy keep confusing her. But Papa, not to worry. Her marriage to Edward is just in the next two weeks. And I'm sure she will definitely marry her. She doesn't that have a choice. boy Okoronta has caused a lot of damages in my household. And if he doesn't stop, I swear I will pour venom on him. Full strength. I trust you, Papa. But not to worry. Your son is capable. Leave it to me. It's all right. If he says so. I've said this several times. So I'm not going to marry him. I will marry Okoronta. He's the one I want to marry. Shut up completely. What do you know about love? Is it wandering around the whole town with a vagabond who cannot feel even feel himself? Huh? Is that what we call love? Olamma, I've seen that your insanity has gotten to the level where it needs a cure. Uh -uh. Eh? What is even the matter with you? When you know your marriage introduction is just two weeks away. Eh? Let me warn you, I don't want that guy's name to be That's the point. What will if it's a marriage, a marriage introduction without my cousin? What do you know about marriage? Whatever we do is for your own good. Which good? What is your problem, sir? I have no choice. The problem is you two of you have a problem. You two of you have a problem. Let me, let me marry a counter. I will leave force me to marry who I don't want to love. You will not That's marry him. Yeah. You won't yeah. marry him. Yeah. Nonsense. What's going to happen to you? Insisting I marry him. He fixed the date for the marriage introduction. I'm afraid. And do you wish to marry him? Kurunta, it is you my heart longs for. My soul, my body, everything longs for you. It is you I want. Then we must bind our love together and fortify our spirits to face the battle ahead of us. Excuse me. Give me your hands. What? Your hands. What? We have to make an oath. Blood oath. Papa, you need not worry at all. You see, Olama is my younger sister. And you know I watched her grow up. So I know her more than she knows herself. Don't worry. Before I go back to the city, I promise you I will convince her. I've heard you, my son. But I am getting worried. Ever since you started relating with that boy, so I've been behaving like somebody who has lost sanity. Papa, Papa. Huh? insanity has a cure. Like I said, leave it to me. I will handle it. Let's just go and relax. Go and sleep. Huh? It's all right. If you say so, it's okay. I will go to bed now. <coughs> we are most grateful for your warm reception, the chairman. Indeed, if it's an assurance that we are welcomed in this family, may we seek the honor of seeing our wife to be. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, my in-laws. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. I feel very happy because this event marks the beginning of greater things to come between us. Thank uh, you, all of my. They'll be searching everywhere for me now. And I'm afraid they'll harm you if they find us. There's no need to be afraid, my jewel. We have to be strong now. We already started the battle. So we need to fight to the end. See, do you realize the implication of what you have done? So we have to be strong. All my life I have lived to love and respect my father and my brother. I did everything for them. But this I won't do. Because my love for you is stronger. And I will fight for love. Give me your hands. I'll fight for you. Come, let's go. Where's all our hand, Okoronta? I, I haven't seen all our mine in a long time. And the Okoronta went out. Is there anything? You're lying, let's search this. I'm not lying. I'm the only one in the household. I'm the only one here now. What, what is the problem? <laughs> How dare you lay a finger on my mother? So? And if I do? That you are pushed! Try it! Let go of this idiot! Get me out of Deal with him! Mama, look at my face! Let it get too cold. Wait, 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 wait. Mama, wait.
Which leg? Huh? Is this one? No matter what it is, I will. I will. See, I see. I guess ah. this should be okay for the night. Okay. Don't worry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You will just eat and sleep, oh? Thank you very much, no. Mama. I'm sorry for making you go through all this trouble. I don't know why things are turning out this way for us. Why has fate turned its back on us, Mama? If I were rich, would Eminike ever have the impetus to do all what he's been doing to me? Don't blame your tragedy on faith and uh, poverty. It is your stubbornness and foolishness. Look, I've warned you time with that number to, to stay away from that girl. But you will not listen to me. So just like pouring water on stone. Like going to the river to fetch water with basket. When it enters through this ear, it goes away through the other one. Look, you were a very obedient child, though. But on this girl's issue, you, you refuse to see, see reason with me. Now see what your stubbornness and you. Look at it. They might have succeeded now because I'm poor. Hmm. But I know one day my God will lift me. My enemies will be ashamed. They'll look in my face for favor. Mm -hmm. I like your gods, my dear. Just like your late father. My late husband. Yes. He was a good man. And uh, things were going well for us until he lost his job and things became very rough. As if that was not enough. The cold hands of death snatched him away from us. Chai. Onuma. I have a strong feeling that Onuma had a hand in his death. Mama. Yes, yes. The feeling is very strong in me. That man is evil. He's evil. Good morning. Keep your pleasantries, woman. You don't need a suit here to tell you that there is absolutely nothing good in my mission now. So what is the problem this morning? Eh? Your son. That's your useless and reckless son. Warn him. If he dares me again, if he dares me again, I will tell him I'm the hurricane that opposed the Iroko tree. So what has my son done to you this time that, that, that you're using such hard language on him? Oh, Emma Zion. You pretend not to know. You pretend not to know. I'm aware you have concluded plans to disgrace my family before my in-laws. Me? To draw your son from my daughter. Or else, or else, he will join his late father. Yes, water and fire have nothing in common. A stubborn fly follows the corpse into the grave. Hey! You are warned. You are warned. Papa. Oh, my 
Carson, you are still awake? Yes. I came so we can talk about Olama's problem. You see, I've been thinking since the marriage engagement has been terminated, it would be nice for me to take Olama with me to the city, thereby separating her from Okoronta. And I'm sure with that she will begin to reason well. I think you're right, my son. You are right. In fact, I was thinking on the same line of your own thought. But what is bothering me is this. Why is Olamwa behaving like this? I wish I know. So strange. Anyway, Papa, let's go and sleep, okay? Let's go to bed. Okay, my son. All right. Okay, after it. I pack your things, all your belongings, you're leaving to the city with me now. Uh, brother, why, 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 I, I don't understand. There is no but. This matter has been decided. Hurry, because the journey is a long one. Oh, but why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me before deciding now? Shut up, you don't have any choice. Go in and pack all your things, and we're leaving immediately. Eh, me, I don't want to go to the city. Eh, so that you can stay back and wander about with that hooligan. Would I forget one, is it? I, mean, I don't want to go anywhere. You have to go. Listen, don't get me upset. Get in now and take your thing. I don't want to get in. I said inside. I don't want to get in. I don't want to get in. I don't want to get in. Do you love him? Who? Okoronta. He's the only man that lives in my heart. I can understand how you feel. But I want you to understand too what I am father has been trying to fight for you for is to secure a bright future for you. And equally for you to understand that this thing you call love is just a figment of your imagination that grows into feelings and subsequently turns you round and around until it leads you to destruction. We want you to know that you need a man that is solid. A man that is financially capable to love you. And that I do not see in Okoronta. But rather, in a man like Edward, hmm. who is rich, he's generous. Above all, I think he loves you. Hmm. I don't love him. If there's anything I understand about love, is. Love is kind. Love is humble. Love is persevering. It's a beautiful thing. And it's certainly not Edward. If you truly love me, let me go where my heart lies. My happiness lies with Okoronta. I see. See, but you must know this. Henceforth, you're not leaving this house, and you're not allowed any communication with her, and you're not allowed to leave this house until I say so. Because I see that's the only way 
that you can come back to your sense. If you'll excuse me. You are the jewel of my heart. You are the apple of my eye. You mean more to me than the air I breathe. You are my heart, my love, my life. How long will you continue like this, eh? You hardly eat. And you don't even sleep at, at night any longer. What is the matter with you? Eh? Mama, I've told you I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. You? Okay. Yeah. You're not okay. Why are you punishing yourself? Tell me. Why? Um, I'll be just fine. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're not fine, no. I'm sure it has to do with uh, Olama's absence from this village. I've told you to put this girl behind you and carry on with your life. I've heard you, Mama. I just want to be left alone. Eh. Yeah. You want to be left alone. I've said my own. Why did you ever leave me? to her? Uh, uh, well, yes, we, we are related. Okay. 
It's just that she has severe external and internal injuries. But we're trying our best. Hey, doctor, please. Please, just do anything and everything you can to save her life. Please. We're trying our best. Thank you, doctor. Thank you very much. Well, good you're here. So let's go down to my office for proper documentation in the bills. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Good. Nurse, take care of her. terrible day. What happened? That I I knocked down a young girl with my car. Oh my god. And she collapsed on the spot. Uh, what, what, what happened? Uh, where is she? Well, I, I rushed out to the hospital and she has started receiving treatment but the doctor said her condition is quite bad. Well, you did well taking her to the hospital. Um, Thank God she didn't die. What about her relations? Have you have they been contacted? Uh, that's actually the problem that uh, there was no trace of identification on her, oh. except for a photograph of a young man I, I, I found with her. I even had to lie to the doctor that I'm her relative, so she could uh, get treatment. Well, the one good thing is that she is receiving treatment. We don't want any trouble. But you must be exhausted. Oh, Dad, I'm fucked up. Come, come, come. I'm freshened up and let's uh, have dinner. It's getting cold. <laughs> Hola. Hola, ma. There she is. Hola. Hola, ma. Tell me you are coming. Papa. I hope all is well. Papa, wait, Olama. What? I should be the one to ask you. Oh, God. Papa, can you, can you believe it? Olama sneaked out of my house for the past two days. I even found out how she left with some of her belongings. I am positive it's her plans with that idiot called Okoronta. Hey! Okoronta. But Papa, I promise this time around, I'll teach that boy a lesson he'll never forget. Okoronta should be arrested. Exactly. Wait for me. I'm coming. My sister will always say, you know, that the husband will say, I need you, I need you every hour, I need you, your patient said, he cannot do it. <laughs> Oh, Mama, I don't have time to laugh now. Mama, let me go and see Nai Ango. Eh. He hasn't paid me for the work I did in his farm. Eh. Please, please, come back on time, oh? Okay, I'll show you. Nai Ango. Nai Ango, welcome, sir. Where is my sister? I don't understand you. Is there any problem? Eh, Nai Ango? Any problem? You pretend not to know. Ha! 
both of you miscreants. No, 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 man. I will not have you come into my compound and insult my mother and I. Okay. I will not. I say, where is my sister? Is he your sister's keeper? Tell me, eh? Haven't you and your wicked father done enough harm to my son? Or do you want to kill him? Or do you want to kill my son for me before you rest? Watch your tongue. Watch your tongue, woman. Ha! I say, where is my sister or hell? Or what? Emineke, you're just a dead rat. Mama, exactly. You know, you can do nothing. Ah. Okay. Officer, that's a kidnapper. Arrest him. Hey. Young man, you are under arrest for the disappearance of one Miss Olama Onoma. Me? I'm sorry you're coming with us. Officer. Cough him. My son is innocent. Officer. No, no, no. My son is innocent. Yes, I... Officer. My son has not done anything, man. Officer, please. What am I saying? Emenike, I've seen the hell you want to let loose. This is just the beginning. Wait for mine. Move it. Officer, you haven't done anything. Oh my God! What is it for? So where are you? Mr. Koronta, Officer, I am asking you for the last time. Tell me where you are hiding this missing girl. Honestly, Officer, I've told you the truth. The honest truth. I don't know her whereabouts. And God can bear me witness. You are leaving me with no other option than to follow you the hard way. Oh my God. And I'm sure you won't like it. Copra, what? Go and plug the boiling ring for me. Yes, sir. Oh, well, it's my destiny because I don't know about this officer. Believe me. Now, if, if you go torture me and you find out that I didn't do it, what becomes of your conscience? I don't know about this girl, and God knows I don't know about it. I'm begging you for my mother's sake, please have mercy on me. Who? Didn't do it. Oh. Yeah, I'm afraid her condition appears to be a little more complicated than it was in the beginning. She no. received severe shock that might lead to amnesia. Amnesia? Yeah. If you understand what I'm saying. Amnesia is a state of upset mindedness, loss of memory, and. Uh, uh, yeah. Doctor, I, I, I have an idea of what you're talking about. Oh, good. Uh, actually, psychology is one of the courses I studied in the university, so I have an idea of what you're talking about. Good. Uh, but, Doctor, what is her fate? Honestly, I cannot predict the end result for now. But my medical knowledge tells me that she has a very little chance of escaping it. <sighs> Doctor, please, please do anything and everything you can to save her life. Please. We'll try our best. One more thing, Mr. William. While going through her file, I discovered that the call of identification left blank, not completed. May I know your reason, sir? Uh, well, doctor, I... Actually, I'm not related to her. Serious? Yes. I lied to you so you could commence treatment immediately. Uh, the truth is, my car knocked her down on the road. 
So I brought her here for treatment. Have you been able to locate her people? Uh, no. No, that's, that is actually the problem. There's no trace of identification on her, except for the photograph you gave me, which <laughs> for now is not very useful. All right. I must commend you for your penny for lens. You are truly an exemplary citizen. I mean, seeing the way you've been running around, taking care of her, making sure she's comfortable. Oh, God will surely reward you. Thank you. I want to be one more thing, my word of advice. After this time out, I suggest you use a picture and place it in the media. Maybe that could help to attract her people so that you know what to do from there. All right, uh, yeah. I, I'll do just that. I'll do that. Okay. We'll try our best. No problem. Uh, one more thing. Go to the accounts department and pick up the bill. Hmm? Okay. All right. Uh, doctor, just before I leave, I want to commend you and also thank you for all your assistance. Mm -hmm. You've been wonderful. Thank you so much. I'll keep in touch. Just take care of you. So, officer, has he confessed now? Not yet. But I assure you, by the time we are through with him, he will have no other choice than to confess. We are used to criminals like him. He just left the torture room right now, back to the cell. God, my sister. It's okay, don't worry. We're doing our best. Okay. In that case, I have to leave now. No problem. I promise you one thing. By your next visit, I'll show you something positive. I look forward to it. Thank you very much. Sorry. God bless you. Sir. All right, take care. All right. What's your day, son? Oh, Hectic, I suppose. Certainly. Certainly. <laughs> How do you cope with your office work and this constant visit to the hospital? You must be well stressed. Well, uh, I don't have a choice there. It's a cross I have to bear, so there's not really much I can do. Well, I hope she recovers soon enough so that this stress can be eased. <laughs> you know, on the contrary, then I. I enjoy it with it. Ah, me? I don't know. It, it hurts me each time I remember that mom died and leaving me without a sibling. I mean, it's, it has made me develop some sort of affection for a woman and I feel no less for that poor girl. I mean, Dad, imagine if she was actually my younger sister. I... that I wish I had one. Really, I... I just wish I could see mom right now and... just hold her in my arms now that I'm a man and... Oh, I don't know. If wishes were horses, son, you know? Let's put the past behind us and forge ahead with life. That is why I want you to get married soon. Yeah. I know that, but I've not seen any woman I love. Princess? Isn't she beautiful? Oh, please. But Daddy, please. I mean, you of all people should know that there is more to a wife than just beauty. I don't love her. But both of you both of you were very close when you were younger. Daddy, that was then. Right now we are adults. It's, it's a different ball game. I don't love her. I see. Well, <clears throat> this um, girl, have you been able to contact her, her family? Mm, I wish I had. Honestly, I wish I had. It's been over three weeks I published a photograph in the media. And no positive results. Mm. Mm. Well, Let's hope she continues to make progress. Um, 
Who knows? Something might break soon. I hope so too. Anyway, no, uh, let me go freshen up. I'll, I'll be with you soon. Good. Um, why don't you come to the club with me? Uh, relax, ease up the tension, you know? <laughs> Daddy, I like that. I, I'll do that. Let me just freshen up. What is her present condition? Well, she's a little bit in shock. Okay. We'll soon come around. Okay. All right, all right. I would like to have a walk to my office. Oh, no, no, no problems, please. After you. Okay. Yeah. Like I said earlier, she developed amnesia. But she still has chances of recovery. We'll try our best. You don't need to worry, okay? She recovered. Philip Williams and you're in the hospital. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, actually, you, you had an accident. My car knocked you down and I, I brought you here for treatment. But don't worry, you're fine now. Trust me, you, you're okay. An accident? What is your name? My name? Son. 
what do we do? For more than two months, we've not set our eyes on your missing sister. And the young man in police cell has refused to say anything. Perhaps something terrible has happened. Something like that. No, Papa. I don't think it, it can harm her to that extent. No, he can't. I am sure he's hiding her somewhere far away. Yes. Whatever is the situation, I want to see my daughter. Oh God, why should we allow this to befall us? Papa, calm down. I am sure that he's going to confess soon. Very soon, I am positive that he's going to confess. Because look at him and look at jail. So he definitely has no choice but to confess. But again, if he doesn't confess, Papa, I will squeeze life out of him. I promise you that. God forbid. God forbid. Yeah, as you can see, Mr. William, there is nothing more we can do to our case. What she needs now is the services of a psychologist who will carry her along psychologically and then her medication, okay? Uh, doctor, I understand that her condition is unpredictable in, in most cases, but do you think otherwise? You've said it all, and you're right. You see, amnesia at times could last for a period after which the victim regains memory. In some cases, it might degenerate to insanity. Like I said earlier, what she needs is the help of a psychologist. Or maybe relating back to her old friends and her family members. Okay. But unfortunately, you've not been able to locate them. At all. Yeah. But then, Mr. William, I know you can be of help to her. You can help her come out of this. You are the only person she knows now, the only person she relates with, the only person she understands. You can help her. Yes. Yes, you can help her, I know. You can help her. Good day, sir. Uh, uh, meet my my father, Engineer William Obaraku. You are welcome, young lady. Uh, my son told me everything about you. Uh, that she she'll be staying with us for a while. Uh, why don't you take her in and uh, come and meet me here? I want to have a word with you. How could you 
bring a stranger into my house to live without my consent. Dad, I'm sorry I, uh, I'm sorry I never informed you earlier, but it's due to the urgency. Dad, uh, I don't want you to see her as a stranger. Rather, look at her as a victim of circumstance, which your son is the cause. Dad, that poor girl lost her memory because of me, because of my carelessness. And right now, the least I can do is at least help her recover. And as soon as she does that, she'll be going back home. I mean, she can't continue staying in the hospital, Dad. You have done enough, son. Doing this, maybe getting things too far. Daddy, no price is exorbitant to pay to save a life. The life of a helpless poor girl. Dad, you taught me to be philanthropic in life. Can I at least put it to use, please? Son, not in this instance. It is capable of being misinterpreted. It can be most embarrassing if her family found out that she, she's staying with us in this house. We could be accused of abduction. Well, Dad, I've considered all that. And right now, I think the most important thing is to save our life. Dad, I want you to understand that helping that girl, that poor girl, will free my conscience. And also, give me uh, the opportunity to practice a dream course I studied in the university. <sighs> Son, you have never let me down. And for that singular reason, I give my consent, but don't let me down. I will not do that, sir. I promise. Once again, to my abode. I want you to know that I'll do anything, anything at all to make you comfortable. This is your room. Hope you like it. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, feel free, relax, make yourself comfortable while I go on freshen up. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, just in case you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Okay? Thank you.
what you want? Uh, nothing actually. I I got you some stuff. Philip. Okay? okay. Alright, so tell me. What have you remembered this time? Um nothing. Okay, uh why don't I start by giving you a name? flowers a lot. Yeah. And I'll call you Rose. Rose is the most precious flower in the world. Yeah. You like it? Yes. I like that. Uh, I want to show you something. Tell me anything about the picture. I can't explain. Look, you just have to try. Try. That's the only way you can help yourself right now. Holding hands, very close. I I hear voices. Laughter. Uh, um. Uh, I can't remember anything. Look, no, try harder. Try. I can't. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. Just try and relate to me anytime you remember anything else. Okay?
Nike, how are you? Fine. You're welcome. Yes, I. We've done everything possible to make sure he confesses. But all to no avail. In fact, we are beginning to believe he might be innocent. No! I know that guy very well. Don't mind whatever he says to you in defense. He's dangerous! Even the area commander is beginning to believe so. He has ordered for his immediate release. What? Yes. How could he do that? Order from above. I'm sorry, I, I have this material to submit. I'll see you some other time. So, uh, have you, have you been able to remember anything else? No. Look, you have to try harder. You just have to try. See, the ability to gather these memories together will enhance your chances of recovery. So you just have to try. I saw pictures last night. But I couldn't... I couldn't grab the memory. It was like a flash coming in and out. I also heard voices traveling through my mind. That's all. Well, I, I'm glad to hear this. At least shows you're making progress. But you really have to keep trying. Don't stop. All right? Uh, we'll be going to the hospital in the next one hour. So I'd like you to get ready. I feel guilty making you go through this hell. I could feel your fears and the tears in your heart. I can feel your agony. I have to go and tell them the truth. I have to tell them I'm guilty of the crime. You don't have to lie just to save me. You're endangering your life. Please. Do not tell anyone the truth. Let it be between you and I. Anyway, nobody will believe you. Chejin already told the Adas Council that I'm responsible. You did it to save my life. Let it be my own price. The price is too much for anyone to pay. Oh, Koronta, it's my mistake. Let me bear the cross. It's not your fault. Don't blame it on ourselves, not the love we share. Let's just say it's fate. My only fear is that the Waziri case do not want this matter to be settled amicably. I wonder why they want me to go through hell over this matter. Well, no matter how stormy the end may be, let this be my own. Let it just be a persecution of love. It's my persecution. For loving you. You have a golden heart, my love. I want to assure you that no matter what comes out of this, I will be with you all the way till the end. I hate to see you go through tribulations for my sake. Hmm? I have not gone through anything compared to the sacrifice you made for me. 
It's hard to imagine you paid such an exorbitant price just to save me. Honestly, I wish there was something I could do just to repay. No, 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 you don't have to pay me back. Have you forgotten we are one? What I do, I do for love. Feel the pains in your heart. Eh? God knows best. Maybe it's for your own interest. You never can tell. Ama, she's a part of my soul. It's so difficult to live without her. It's difficult. Look, no amount of tears will bring her back. You should even be thanking God for saving you from the hands of the police. I love her. And I love her so, so much. Love her so, so much? What kind of love is that? Is it not the same love that, that sent you to the prison? Eh? My friend, Tetanola, wake up! Wake up! Love. Nonsense love. Love, Balog. Okay, uh, you've been at home all day. Uh, why don't we go to the gym and okay, meet people and exercise your mind? Okay. All right. Thank you. How is your patient responding to little practicals? Oh, impressive then. Quite impressive. Mm. Little wonder you're growing fonder of her every day. Oh. <laughs> uh, that I have lost. Mm. The attention, the constant attention you give her leaves you time for nothing else. Not even me, your father. I hardly see you nowadays. You are always with her. Oh, Daddy, it is part of my job. It's part of my job. Look, I, I want an excellent result. <laughs> oh, Daddy, don't look at me like this now. Please, please, Dad. I want an excellent result at the end of the day. And you know me. I'm always committed to my job. No, no doubt. No doubt. It's just that... Princess will be most surprised to see you as such a wonderful companion. <sighs> Dad, please, I, I don't want to talk about Princess now. You can't avoid it. Drink up. We have a lunch date with your carvers, remember? 
Okafo. Okafo. Oh, that, that, I almost forgot. <laughs> All right, let me just finish up my drink and we'll, we'll go. Princess, you <laughs> you never told me you were coming. Now do I have to ring a bell to announce a visit to my husband to this house? Who is this lady, Philip? My dear wife to be. When are you going to learn manners? When? That hasn't answered my question, Philip. Who is this woman and what is she doing here? Well, if it might interest you, she's my friend. Your friend? Philip, you have the guts to bring a lady into this house. In the name of friendship. Um, I... Shh, 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 shut hey, up! Hey, hey, hey! Just hold it there. Princess, the next time you talk to her like that, I repeat, if you talk to her like that again, I will teach you some manners. Ooh, I'm shaking. Why don't you start right now? Princess, are you daring me? No, wait. Are you daring me? You must tell me who she is right now. All right, I'm not telling you anything. Then nobody step in an inch. You must tell me. And right now, you must tell me. Rose, go to your room. You dare not move an inch. What is going on here? Daddy. Why were you so violent? I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to be rude. It's only he refused to introduce the lady properly to me. Mm. Dad, please, let her learn some manners. I mean, she's been too possessive and I don't like it. She's a woman, you know. It's all right. It's all right. One thing is that uh, you are both seen reason. And the princess now knows um, who Rose really is. But uh, princess, mm, you should be more patient. I think you should apologize to your husband to be. Sorry, darling. Really? I'm sorry. You may have been very lucky to have been released from the police net. But let me assure you that it's not over with us yet. I'll come after you until the day you confess of my sister's whereabouts. That is it. Emenike, I am waiting. I am waiting. If only you know how much I hate the breath that comes out of your mouth. It's things like that. If only I can slice your head off. You're still talking. Do whatever. Have the freedom while it lasts. I'll be coming after you. You idiot. Okay. Get yourself out of my car or else I'll break your You idiot. Okay. Hey, Medicaid. You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. 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 Idiot! Waka! What the fire are you there? Idiot! Yeah, so at least 
By the time we're through the hospital, hey. then we can. Uh, hey, Philip! Philip, where are you going? <sighs> Princess, don't start, please. I told you I'll be taking Rose to the hospital for injection. Philip. Philip, you know we have a program for the next hour. <sighs> Princess, let's postpone it, please. We cannot, Philip! I knew that is what you were going to say. How could you? Philip, what has come over you? These days, you really pay attention to me. You follow that girl like a dummy. I mean, like, like you cannot survive a second without her. What has come over you, Philip? You're giving me room to suspect. There's, there's something going on between you two that meets my eyes. Oh. All right. At least you've made your judgment, right? Suit yourself. Philip, Philip, I'm not, I'm not going to take this, Philip. I'm not going to take it. Jesus, that bitch has just stepped on my toes. Get to know about love. Okay. Jesus, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Princess, come. Let's let's. Know 
that a man you love with all your heart is abandoning you for someone else. Princess, I am not abandoning you and I will not abandon you. Try and be reasonable. There's nothing to be reasonable about her, Philip. There's nothing. All I know is that you're leaving me for a total stranger and that is so unacceptable to oh, me, baby, Philip. Baby, that is so baby, baby, please. Please. Do you know that I love you? Philip, do you know how much I love you? Do you know? Do you know? You decide. No, you decide. No, you decide. I mean, it's been my opinion all the time, so at least let me hear from you. Some other time. All right. Her beauty is so enchanting. The fire in her eyes could light any man's heart. She's so calm and lovely and her brilliance could not be hidden by her psychological disability. She's the kind of woman I've always desired. Oh, no, 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 Philip. You can't start nurturing these thoughts in your mind now. It could lead to a drastic result. What? Nothing. Why are you staring at me? I wasn't staring at you. I was actually, uh... I was admiring the scene, <laughs> your beautiful scene, right behind you. Is that a flip over there? Jesus Christ. Lucy, that is Philip. What's wrong with you? What have I done? Come on. What have I done to Philip? And you're beautiful too. justification treating her in such a cruel manner. Do you understand the stress she's going through due to the lackluster way in which you have treated her? Look, Philip, you must apologize to her. Daddy, I don't owe her any apology whatsoever. If she's not comfortable with what I do, the door is open. Let her go back to her opulent parents. Don't be rude. Don't be rude! Have you forgotten that you are taking her to the altar soon? Daddy, uh, how, how else am I going to explain this? I don't love her! Daddy, can't, can't, can't you understand me? I don't love her! No! Oh, so you will rather love a, a, a total stranger oh. who, whose background is not known! Dad, Rose is out of the question. The truth remains. I don't love her. I'm only doing this because of you. Then try harder! and you will see how much she loves you. Excuse me. I heard you scream. 
I just had a dream. A dream? I'm so scared. Please, it's okay, it's okay. I... It's alright, it's alright. Calm down. Calm down, please. Calm down. Calm down, okay? So, what, what was the dream about? I... I was running and... And some people were chasing after me. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. I'm so no, scared. Don't it's okay, it's, it's alright. So it's alright, it's okay. It's okay. So this is part of your job. Look, can you just give me a break in this house? Eh? Can't you just let me be? Philip, I cannot let you be. Not until you tell me what you're doing, calling this bitch in your arms. For Christ's like sake! Like for God's sake! I have told you time without number. I am not answerable to you when whatever I do in this house. <laughs> can you get that? And let me warn you. The next time, the next time you talk to her like that, you will regret ever knowing me. Philip, this girl here, she's nothing but a cheap slut. And you, you're nothing but a shameless ego. How dare you? And How you dare you? What can you do? What can you do, Mr. Casanova? You want to see what I can do? And you, this girl. By the time I finish with you, by the time I lay my hands on you, you know <laughs> something is missing here. Hey, 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 you hey, stop hey. the story. Hey. You won't even be alive to tell the story. Hey, hey, I promise hey, you. Hey. Just wait. You want to see what I can do, right? But I told you that already. What can you do? That I stay with you under this roof and what you do is cheat on me every day with this Get bitch. Out. Get out! Get out! You're going to be so You're going to be so Get out! yourself now, Philip. Philip, I loved you. I've always loved you right from when we were kids. I gave you everything. But you never appreciated it. You never returned that love back. Each time I look at you, I see love in your eyes, but that love is not for me. That love is for her, Philip. Anyway, I wish both of you good luck, okay? Goodbye, Philip. Thank you. Princess, okay? That in such an awful manner. You sent her out of this house. Oh, Daddy, I did not send her out. We had an ugly incident. Fine, she, she decided to leave. What difference does it make? If you had not hit her because of Rose, she wouldn't have gone out. What's come over you? Why have you resolved to, 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 to behave like a beast in human form? Since you brought that girl into this house, your attitude about everything has changed. Daddy, Daddy, please, please. Rose has nothing to do with this, okay? Ro Rose has nothing to do with it. I mean, Princess got me angry and I reacted. Rose has nothing to do with it. Rose has everything to do with it. And I think it is high time I changed my mind about her. Daddy, why are you doing this? Why? Why are you blaming an innocent girl for something she knows nothing about? Why, Dad? Princess is the daughter of my best friend and your fiancé. That girl is a total stranger. 
Do you realize that your actions are capable of jeopardizing my interest with Chief Okafo? Daddy, that's exactly the point. That is the point. You're not even concerned about me. All, all you're concerned about is uh, uh, Chief Okafo, whatever. You don't care about me, Dad. I, I don't love her!